Hey, today I'm going to show you the new iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, and iPhone XR, which comes in six different finishes. I like the blue one. I'll walk you through some simple ways to get around. Face ID, how to use depth control with the amazing new cameras, and I'll touch on other cool things like Memoji, dual SIM, and group FaceTime. Let's get to it. Using these phones is as easy as ever. Let's look at the iPhone XS first. No home button? No worries. Wherever you are on your device, simply swipe up to go home. If you want to see all the apps you have open, swipe from the bottom and pause. Then swipe to move between your apps. You can even swipe along the bottom of an app to go from one to another. To get to the control center on the device, simply swipe down from the top right. To dismiss Control Center, just swipe up. Want to see all of your notifications in one place? Swipe down from anywhere else on the top, and there they are. Swipe right to see your widgets, or left to quickly access your camera. And if you're one of those people that like a large display but prefer using one hand, thanks. Enable reachability in settings. Then swipe down on the bottom edge of the screen to bring everything within a thumb's reach. To turn the device off, press and hold the side button and either volume button then swipe. Everything you used to do with Touch ID, you can now do with Face ID. Your face is your password, which is much easier to remember and easy to set up. Let's check this out on an iPhone XS. To set up, just rotate your face around. Then your device will recognize you wherever you look at it. Now you're set up. Thanks. To unlock, just tap or raise to wake it and give it a casual glance. You don't have to shove it in your face. It'll recognize you and unlock. Change up your look? No problem. It can recognize you with a new hairstyle, makeup, glasses, most sunglasses, bedhead, and grub face. Once it unlocks, just swipe up to go home. When notifications pop up, they stay private until you look. One glance, and there they are. These new devices have amazing cameras, and there are a lot of things you can do with them, like affect the blur in the background to make some pretty pro-looking photos. Let's play with the iPhone XS Max for this. Hey, can I take a photo of you? Um, yeah. Let's come yeah. over here right by the tree. Right here? Yeah, look right okay. here. To use portrait mode, launch the camera and swipe to portrait mode. Next, choose the portrait lighting effect from the menu at the bottom of the screen. Or you can adjust these after you take the portrait. Ooh, nice. One more? Yeah. OK. To edit, just tap. You can change the lighting effect and depth of field. And voila. Yes, send that to me? Yeah, sure. To airdrop, tap the share icon and look for your friend's name and tap. Thanks. Huh, yeah. Why would you want two SIM cards? Well, it's like having two numbers in one device, like one work one and one personal one. So you always know who's calling. See, the W indicates someone's calling on my work line. To activate dual SIM, You'll just have to buy a plan from a carrier or a provider in the form of an eSIM. Once you receive a personal QR code, just go to Settings, then to Cellular, and then Add a Cellular Plan to launch the QR code scanner. A few steps later, you're in business. There are so many other things to talk about with these new devices, like Memoji, animated versions of you, your face, your expressions, which are really fun in messages. Then there's group FaceTime, which is FaceTime with up to 32 people at once. 32. Check it out. Hey, guys. Hi. Of course, Memoji is always there for you if you're feeling camera shy. Still me. Wow. Anyway. Hey, Siri, how do you say thanks for watching in Mandarin? 感谢观看. 